Oh, look at that, Death Valley. Hey, I'm going to be down there with those line of people again, telling them, <laughs> do this, shoot this. And I'm going to run to every camera and say, no, 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 no. That's, That's not John. the right composition. There's John. <laughs> That's not the right composition. You need to shoot this composition, uh, which leads me to today's thought. And I'm just going to title this one just because I want to see what your reactions are. Folks, I haven't even set them up on this one. I, I, I'm going to call it photograph photography by the numbers or photography photographing by the guidebook. Either one of those. I'm going to throw that out by there. By the numbers. Let me tell you why that works. <laughs> uh, how many of us remember paint by numbers? Oh, we were told we could create a masterpiece if we just followed the numbers. That's right. Well, of course, when you looked at the final image, it's not a masterpiece. It was a crude imitation. Yeah, that's best. And yeah, and so you don't create a masterpiece by the numbers or by following the rules or by going to the must see sites and guidebooks. Yeah. Uh, it's just not done. At best, all you can produce is a crude imitation of a masterpiece. And I've done it. I would go to Yosemite. <laughs> <laughs> and try to figure out where he stood, yeah. Ansel, and yep. try to take the shot. I mean, what was I thinking? But, but so sure. many do that, though. So what is that? What's that about? I don't know. There is the philosophy that you learn something by doing it. And I think that's bullpucking. I really think that's a bad philosophy and it doesn't work. You don't learn something by copying others. All you learn is to copy others. And of what, to what value? Yeah. Uh, to be, I'd rather be a poor original than a great imitation. I really would. It's because interesting because I've been given, word. so now that you've morphed it in that direction, you know, we would like to go back to music. you got great cover bands out there. I'm going to a Led Zeppelin cover band here soon. Yeah. Oh, that kind of goes against your philosophy, doesn't it? Well, I enjoy the music and they're dead or no, they're not dead, but they're not, they're not. Okay, so how's that different than somebody who then wants to copy all of these great iconic scenes? They enjoy the scene. They enjoy that photograph. Now it's theirs. Yeah, it's a good, really good question, but I'm not doing it. I'm just listening or looking. I'm not doing the copy. Yeah, but, but, it's but a great but question. The, but those artists are doing that. You know, they but are copying. Can't... But you can't hear live Zeppelin anymore. And so this is, I guess, the yeah. next best thing. Okay, so let's go. Let's keep going down that rabbit hole okay. a little bit. As a musician, yep. one of the things I absolutely love doing is try you know, playing other people's songs. Yes, I do write some of my own songs. And I've, I've got a dozen that I would actually play for somebody that I am proud of. That's not very many. But well, I've I heard love... one of your originals out on the dunes, and I would suggest that you not play that for many people. <laughs> that particular one. <laughs> yeah, that one might be my weakest. Yeah. But um, but I do really enjoy trying to figure out a Stevie Ray Vaughan lick. Um, you know, blues players traditionally, that's what they do. They they hear a lick and they try to copy that lick, and then they incorporate that lick into their own style. Hmm. You know, so, so I've really been thinking about that, that philosophy. You're advocating that people ought to get either a book of the most famous photographs and go to each site and imitate them or to buy a guidebook and see the must see sites. I mean, no, no, I'm not advocating that because that's exactly what I don't want to do anymore. But I guess what I am saying is I do understand that there is a subset and i was one of those at one point you were one of those at one point you just admitted that that did want to go do that so there must be something that can be learned you know mm. from and i would argue that i can learn on my guitar when i hear a lick and then i go out onto youtube and that guy breaks down that lick to the point where i can now play that lick mm. will i actually play that exact lick moving forward Maybe, maybe not, not intentionally necessary, but I might be soloing in a blues riff and that might be incorporated, you know, that fingering or the way that that note was bent, right? The so question there... is, is there a direct correlation between that and shooting Zabriskie Point? Because <laughs> here's one of the dangers of shooting 
the iconic sites, getting a guidebook and saying, oh, Zabriskie Point is the most famous site. I've seen all those great images. I'm going to wait there at, at sunrise, wait for the sun to hit Manly Beacon, take the shot. Now, here's where the I have a real, real problem. And then they pack up their gear and leave yeah. and they don't turn around and look at other sites. How many do we see? They get the shot, they pack up their gear and they leave. A lot. So that certainly is not personally expressive photography. No. And that, that that's a perfect segue. And that's the difference, right? To me, that is what you and I are trying to talk about. So when we get feedback from others and we appreciate the comments, we do. Not all of them. No, not, yeah, but not Barry. <laughs> Barry, his comments are oh, so Barry. Barry the Roxanne. Short. Oh my gosh, Roxanne. But Barry's oh. are short. Hey, we have an, a new listener, Angela. Remember Angela? And I sent you a copy of that email. And Angela, you know, she she's going to be... Well, no, she's not coming to Death Valley. She's coming to oh, the horses. Oh, oh, the one who's going to be in Death Valley with us. No, this is different. No? This is she's going to come to the hideout with us. But I copied you on one of her responses because she's a new listener to the what show. What did she say? That and she we said we would not, we would not out her at all. Oh, okay. So what we're not going to do that in this episode. Maybe the next episode we'll actually remind you of what that was. But back on track here. Okay. Back on track here. You know, photography by the numbers, photography by the guidebook. I think you're right on the money. It's fine. Again, we talked about in the last episode, there's different types of photographers. A hobbyist photographer might get great value in that guidebook. But please, folks, what we're begging you is if you are listening to this channel, you're probably not a hobbyist photographer or you're aspiring to be, aspiring to be more than that. And that means that you need to think about expressive photography, personally expressive photography, and that you can't find in a guidebook. It just doesn't exist in a guidebook. It doesn't exist by paint by numbers. It, it exists by turning around in Zabriskie Point, looking this way, that way, right at your feet, whatever and finding the meaning in the making as Sean Tucker's book talks about, you know, what, what's going on. And that's the making, you know, that's the important part of the process, not finding a guidebook, getting you to that specific location. I know when you went to Iceland, you bought a guidebook, right? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Liar. But you know, what? no, I, look, look, I want to bring up another point though, about Zabriskie. Let's pretend that all these people there yep. were familiar with that shot and they wanted to get it too. Versus this one fellow over here who came from, I don't know, let's say he came from South Africa, yeah. was unfamiliar with Death Valley, had never seen that image, and got there and said, wow. And he saw that and shot it for himself. I've got a total respect for him because he was attracted to something, he's pursuing it. He's yeah. not there to copy someone else's image. And that's yeah. the difference why his work may be honest and their work may not be honest. Yeah. All the way back to that honest work thing yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, guidebooks, you know, throw them away. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>